Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to this day out of time related to the element of water. I remind you all again that these five days out of time are the ones that we are using as a tradition from now on um, every year. So these five days, we are gonna get together somehow to do an alignment for each one of the days um, related to the information that we have been working in the consciousness path and um, put it all together so we can integrate it to start a new year. And these five days are related to the five elements and the five um, uh, platonic solids, which is the, the structures of the creation. So remember that we have these five days out of time because if we create a perfect circle of time of 360 days um, divided in 12 months of 30 days each, we have five days remaining. Remember that these five days um, are because basically when you try to put in order all the time, there is always some hours, some days that get out of the of the perfect uh, summary because the movement of the planet of Earth around the sun, depending on the gravity, changes for minutes or hours. So it's not always the same. So it's very difficult to uh, to make a perfect timing uh, for a whole year or to start a cycle. That's why um, there are some days that are not going to be specifically 24 hours and they will change. <clears throat> so these five days out of time that we are talking about are spread along our actual calendar. As you see, we have some months of 31 days, 30 days. Um, sometimes we have a month with 27, 28 or 29 days, like February. So we never know. It's kind of a weird calendar that we have because um, what a lot of people, depending on the culture, what they did was trying to adjust their calendar uh, to those moments, those days that nobody knows where to put. Hmm? So uh, as you as you have seen this, um, I don't know how, how you say it in English, uh, the every four years when uh, February has another day, uh, this is like uh, because of rotation of the, of, of the planet around the sun, we are summering some hours. So we have to create another day to compensate this um, this chaos in time, okay? So uh, that's why it's so weird. So, but other cultures like the Atlantean one, what they did was to organize a perfect cycle of time of 30 days each month, 12 months of 30 days, and all these hours and days that were running around. So they put them all together and they call it days out of time. As you have seen, it's very difficult in a sphere, in the cycle of the planet going around the sun, to say this is the moment when a year begins. It's impossible because every latitude and every longitude in the planet, we have different perceptions of time according to our position. So the people who live close to the North Pole is completely different, the time frame, than the people that live in the equator. So that's why uh, we have to kind of decide according to where we live when the cycles begin. So according to our perceptions, we can decide that a new cycle begins according to where the sun is, when the sun appears, or when some stars appear. This is why uh, most of the cultures usually take solstice and equinoxes as a moment to, mar to make a mark to begin the year, which is basically equinoxes, the moment when the earth is equilibrated with the sun, and the solstice, the moments when the sun stops and then comes back to their to its position again. So, for example, you might ask why our year begins January the 1st and ends uh, December 31st, 31. Well, the reason is basically because Roman people love party a lot. So, uh, actually, all the ancient cultures ended their year in the solstice of December. So, 21st or 22nd of December, which is basically the uh, the time the time of uh, of the solstice so everyone celebrated that in that moment the sun stopped going going to the south and 
uh, got still for three days and then comes back again to the position towards spring and summer. So it was a celebration to say we are beginning our path again to the new year. Hmm? But the Roman people loved party and they celebrated the return of the sun for around 11 days. So 11 days of party in the winter to celebrate that the sun is moving back towards the spring. Okay. Um, so when the party ended, that was the end of the year. And the next day, you have to start to work. So that's January 1st. Okay. So this is why we have basically the celebration of the new year that day. There's nothing special with that moment, nothing astrological, nothing really important. It's just that the Roman people uh, got tired of party. <laughs> basically, is that. So we, what we are doing with the five days is celebrating basically the uh, Rome, the, the Atlantean calendar. The Atlantean calendar didn't relate themselves with the solstice and equinoxes, even if they celebrated them, but they, um, they use the, the new year, they use Sirius, the start of Sirius, as the beginning of the year. Because Sirius sometimes goes down in the horizon for six months because it goes to the south. Uh, you, you cannot see it in the north, and then uh, it appears again in the north. So when the star of Sirius, which is the brightest star in the skies, comes back to the to the to the northern sky, uh, it meant that the new year is beginning. Okay, so that's the way some ancient civilizations used to uh, put order in their times. So from the moment that the star of Sirius appears in the horizon, we start to count. 360 days, a perfect cycle, the 360 degrees of a sphere, and then the five days out of time, which is the party. Why we choose these five days and not other five days? Because remember, the star appears, the star series appears in the horizon depending on the latitude you are in. If you are in the middle of Europe, um, your year, the star series will appear around the 15, August 15, or something like that or yeah, around 10, 11. Uh, if you are in Norway, in the north of Europe, uh, it will appear like in the August 25th or something like this. Okay, so very late. So your days out of time would be in the middle of August. But if you are in Mexico, uh, in Central America, the uh, five days out of time, well, the, the star of Sirius will appear like around uh, um, July 25th. So it's dependent on the latitude you are in that you choose the beginning of the year. Um, that's why it's so complicated. And, um, and um, uh, we choose August 4th because the, all the project of the I am was in the latitude 31 and 33 in between um, the regions of Egypt and Israel. So in that, in that frame, uh, the start of series appears. So because of the whole project was there in Egypt, so we decided to make it the fourth, the August the fourth, the first day of the year. So I know that my birthday is August fourth too. So it the year begins with my birthday, but I'm not such a Leo. I I, I mean, it's not that I decided to do the whole thing um, because it was my birthday. <laughs> okay, just just to make clear, maybe I am a little bit Leo by deciding to be born the day that the star rises in Egypt. But um, I guess, well, everything is like um, like uh, coordinated for sure. But I was supposed to be born August 12th, but my mom got Cesare and I was born the 4th. So maybe I did something to be born that moment. <laughs> so this is a kind of a summary again. So we get used to the information of why we are celebrating this new year in this moment. Yeah, these five days and, and so on. Hmm? So the three things that I wanted to uh, sow as intention, because these five days are to sow in intentions for the future, for the things to come. So I want to sow this seed with all of you about these three things that we are going to, uh, to do next year. So um, the first thing that I wanted to share is that everyone who is going to subscribe 
please subscribe already or going to subscribe until August 4th, which is two days ahead. All those who are subscribing for the for the event in November in this week, um, and that has already done it, um, will participate of a workshop that I will give August 13th online, okay, about Atlantean Cosmovision. And I wanted to clarify something that I that today they told me that I was saying it wrong because I mixed it with the second point, which is that that this this course of of Atlantean Cosmovision that I will give August 13th is not only for fire and water groups, it's for air and air too. So the four elements that are going to be present in November, okay, the four uh, elements will be able to join those who have subscribed before August 4th, okay? So um, if you have subscribed for August 4th and you are um, air, earth, water, or fire, so you will be able to be in that workshop that I will give, okay? So that was the mistake that I did. So the second thing is that those who have been have been physically in Egypt and or are going to be in Argentina, you can have gone just to Egypt or just to Argentina or both of them, it doesn't matter. You will be able to participate if you are fire and water, these two, um, you are going to participate in the RCN capacitation next year, 2023. Okay, so you will be in those courses um, with me. Yeah, so have that in mind. And um, the third thing that I wanted to share is that we are so in the intention these days to manifest the Ontos University, which is for ontocracy. And uh, ontocracy. So the idea is to put all the knowledge together to uh, to make a university uh, where everyone can go and learn about all the topics. And um, the what I wanted to share with all of you is that you are making this possible by uh, being members of the foundation by uh, going to the gatherings. So what we wanted to um, to do is to make you all um, seed founders of this university. So if you have gone physically to our gatherings in Egypt and will be physically in Argentina, your name, your certificate of founder will be um, will be there. Okay, so. Um, we want to name you co-founders of this university because you physically help us to make it possible. And so thank you for um, for helping um, for helping us to make it physical to manifest this um, this center of education that I always wanted to create so everyone could could manifest could uh, share this knowledge. Um, yeah, uh, in an easy way. So these are some of the things that I wanted to manifest in these days, in this special year, portal year, that um, that is the beginning of all the things that we are going to manifest after this year. So I remind you that today we are going to integrate the information of water. Um, assimilate that in us. Remember that the Trinity of Water is related to the work that we have done in the months of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Mm -hmm. So we will go through these um, three types of water and integrate it inside of us. Hola Mati, hola a todos. Hello everyone. Sorry, I was I was just saying that that, that you can hear the water running back there, but I, I thought it was the bathroom that was leaking, but no, it's a font it's a fountain that he has at home. <laughs> okay. So 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 we don't get so intense because maybe we will get intense. So let's remember cancer, Scorpio. Pisces. Sit comfortable, try to find a comfortable position.
close your eyes, concentrate in your breathing. Softly, we massage and caress our body to let it understand that we are not living to the mind, that we are fully present in this body. Breathe. Concentrate on your breathing, feeling the air coming in your lungs, perceiving the humidity in the air. I feel the oxygen and hydrogen flow from my lungs to my heart. Flowing through my veins inside the blood as rivers distributing throughout every corner of my body. And I become aware that more than 70% of my body is filled up with this oxygen and hydrogen. I am water. I set part of this water free from myself. I'm in back to the humidity of the air. I take a deep breath through the nose and exhale through the mouth, feeling the water coming to the humidity of the air. And this is how I recognize myself as part of the humidity in the air and rise up to the clouds. I levitate with the thin water towards the sky, acknowledging that the same water I am is the same water that creates the clouds in the skies. In each breathing, I can feel the movement of the clouds.
I can sense how my body, the clouds, caress the mountains, creating fog, mist. I can feel how I get cooler, attracting to me the mist of others, becoming a drop. Everything that emerged from me in my breath turns into a drop of water in the clouds. Cada palabra, cada emoción, cada sentimiento que fluye por mis venas, por mis órganos, en mis células, levita por los aires. hasta convertirse en millones de gotas. Every feeling, every emotion, every word that comes from me, from my veins, my organs, my cells, everything that I feel, my emotions, levitate to the skies, turning into drops of water. The clouds are filled, full, with all the emotions and intentions of those who live and feel. And this, the light in the skies fill up this water, these drops with information. We feel our emotions. And I let myself drop, turning into rain. In ice on the top of the hills, turning into snow. The snow melts with the rain, creating streams that flow through the rivers and lakes. My life is being drunk, is drunk by all the beings that walk aside me. every living creature towards the ocean. As I recognize myself as the river, I acknowledge that my life is a river that flows through sharp territories to the flat ones, going through difficulties, being drunk by other beings that takes my water from me as I have to struggle shaping the rocks and walls to make my path and in every step the water keeps the memory of the shape the memory of every experience.
the water is being sunk, drunk by every soil, every lagoon, every wetland. And down there, hidden by the dark, we find everything that is buried and that gives, takes life while it's touched by the water. The water brings life back to all those things that we have killed within ourselves. dándole una nueva oportunidad de convertirse en vida, giving to it a new chance to turn into life. I allow to recognize all the things that I have hidden, all the things that I don't want to see, that I forgot that are dark inside, I allow myself to bring it all out of the mountains as streams. Let it all purge along the flow of the river, coming back to transcendence and consciousness in the sea. I feel in my body that the path that I have taken along the river unites with many others that every drop of water that I turn to are a side of many others. I move like the waves of the sea. I transform the reality from the rocks into sand, from sand into salt. Transforming all my emotions into the essence of life. And as I move, I can perceive along the coast, everyone in my family, my friends and brothers and sisters, lovers, all humanity flowing as the waves of the ocean, the sea, transforming ourselves once and again in each life. I allow myself to fall into the ocean going farther inside the water, far from the coast, until there's nothing else, nothing more to transform, for I am everything in the deep blue. I am just a tiny drop of water in the ocean. And so I am the ocean.
I find here the harmony of my being, the peace, the realization that everyone lives in me and I live in everyone. And knowing this is that I decide to leave each one of them. And it is so that I decide to become and my water becomes mist and the mist turns into cloud. The clouds turns into snow and rain walking the path again throughout the rivers and lakes, being born again, allowing myself to leave a new life being born from the awareness. I am the eternal life, for I am the water. Take a deep breath and each one at its own time comes back here and now. Remember also that to integrate a lot of information that we have inside by consciousness we have to drink our tears if um uh, it doesn't matter if they are of sadness or joy the eyes bring the light so when the drops of the tears comes from your eyes to your mouth they turn the the structure changes so uh, it could become a kind of a medicine okay so um the same way as the waters in the cloud brings the light, uh, takes the light from the sun and changes its composition so you can have new information. 
the same way happens when the water inside comes to your eyes and it brings the light from the eyes and fall into your mouth. So bring your tears as a way to integrate this information. So thank you all for being here and uh, see you tomorrow at the same time to integrate the last element, which is air.